Hello friends, welcome back to my channel if you're returning and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Rachel and I'm a reseller on sites like eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. And today I have an unboxing for us. This is from Helpsy Source. This is the Professional Wear Mixed Brands New With Tag, New Without Tag Wholesale Box. That's a mouthful. So if you want to see what they sent me in this box, definitely stick around. I'm always looking at Helpsy Source for new boxes to unbox. And this one seems kind of fun. And it said that there were customer returns or new with tag, new without tag of professional brands. And I, let me think. It had like um, Tahari and Gap and Theory. And I'll put the whole list here, I think. But I'm like, okay, these are like bread and butter brands that I sell all the time. And if they are going to be like new with tag, new without tag, I really should think about getting this because that's kind of like in line with what sells really well for me. So this one was on the site. And actually, as of today, the filming of this video, it is still available on the site if you want to go check it out. Um, this box was $180. I have a discount code for Helpsy Source. The code is oh yeah, O H Y E A H. They let me use the discount code on my own boxes. You can also use it if you want to order a box as well. It gives you 10% off of your order. So my box was 180, 10% off, but it cost $11.73 to ship. Helpsy Source does not offer free shipping anymore. So for me, $173.73 or $4.34 per piece. So I'm thinking like, okay, $4.34 per piece on new with tag, new without tag, uh, career wear type brands, professional wear, not a bad deal. Uh, I, I think that just thinking of it that way, the threshold for it to not be that good is kind of low, if, if I'm being honest. So I'm going to open it up and I will show you what comes inside. You can hopefully make the decision for yourself if it's something you want to try for your business. I will rate the box initially once I open it up and then I will rate the box again 90 days later after I have a chance to sell everything. So I rate the ease of listing, the quality of items, and the overall profitability in 90 days. If it's really great, I'll give it an oh yeah. If it's just okay, or if I'm honestly not sure, I'm gonna give it an oh okay. And if I'm like, oh my gosh, I already can tell this was not a very good investment, I will give it an oh no. Uh, at the 90 day update mark, it could possibly be like best of the best, holy grail, or worst of the worst, dumpster fire. Uh, I you typically don't use those when I first open it up, although never say never. So anyway, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you like unboxing videos, if you like reseller content, and if you wanna see the 90 day update when we get around to it, hit that like button if you could, that certainly helps the channel. Let me, don't, let me know down in the comments if you've ordered this box, and then once I get this um, open and unboxed, you let me know if your assortment was the same or similar. I'm definitely interested to know what everybody else got here. So let me go ahead and open this up. This is sealed. I have not opened this box. Anytime I get a new box, I do my best to not open it until the camera is rolling so we can react to it together. Once I get this open, I will list everything on at least eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. I use List Perfectly to cross post and manage my inventory and get it in front of as many eyes as possible. Um, using this perfectly helps me do it quick and with minimal effort so that is the plan all right there's the inside definitely not the most colorful but when we're talking professional wear that's to be expected so i'm just going to get right to it uh, whatever this is is new with tag it seems like it's a blazer okay i don't know this brand actually jnv so this is a stretchy pinstriped blazer and it says made in the USA. It does have a style number. Okay. All right, I'll take a blazer, I guess. Here's another blazer. This is Amanda and Chelsea. Oh, I'm not familiar with this brand too. I really want like Gap Academy blazers and um, J. Crew. What are the J. Crew blazers? Um, I forget their blazers that are good. Well, this one is a suggested retail of 180.
I don't know if this is, okay, this indicates maybe it was a store sample. What size is it? Size four. I mean, it's a nice color for fall. I don't know that I would ever pay 180 bucks for it, but uh, this is Adriana Papel. This is not, so I know this brand does decently sometimes, but it's not a brand that I necessarily seek out. This appears to be, it does have a tag, but it appears to be like a store sample or maybe a floor model of some kind. It is a size eight. Okay. Here's another blazer, Coldwater Creek. Coldwater Creek? Is this really professional? I mean, I guess. It's sort of quilted. There's some crud on it. I don't know what else to call that other than crud, because that's what it is. So I can hopefully get that out with a Tide stick. But there's definitely no tag on this. And definitely not a brand I usually seek out. Is there really 40 pieces in here? These are all blazers. Here's another Amanda and Chelsea blazer. Boy, I hope somebody wants these. This one has like a checkered, like almost window pane. It's like navy blue and gray. Suggested retail, 180 again. And this one's a size small. This one's Calvin Klein. I don't see any tags on this one, so maybe this one's new without tag. Maybe this one was a customer return. This one has a bit of like pet hair on the inside. So I'll have to clean that up a little. Something like this, honestly, without the tag, this might actually just go straight to thread up. I've been trying to pick out the really good like worth my time stuff in the box and then anything else that's maybe not necessarily worth my time or the space it takes up but it may still get me a little bit of money sometimes that stuff ends up at thread up so i guess we'll see this is cold water creek again no tag on this one i guess it's an interesting like print pattern so kind of smells like someone's closet um interesting gosh you have to wonder where some of this stuff comes from so this is a sandro blazer okay this one's a little bit more high end i would say um i don't see a tag on it it's a size 36 it feels nice. It feels like it's probably wool. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like it's a polyester wool blend. And I'm guessing this is a, a woman's. Okay. All blazers so far. Classiques. Classics, and I can never pronounce this brand. This one has the tag. So, okay, so this one has a retail price of $268, marked down to $178, and then a clearance type sticker for $99. So I'll tell you what, I pass this brand up at the thrift store 100% of the time. Like, maybe I shouldn't be. Apparently this is very expensive retail. That to me, that's very expensive anyway. That one's a size six. There's some shiny leopard print. What is this brand? I have never heard of a Garfield size four. Um, it's handwritten. This must be some sort of boutique brand. It's handwritten $268. I mean, it's a solid piece. I don't know anything about the brand. 
but it seems to be well made. I mean, look at the buttons. Look at the detail on these buttons. That's kind of cool. So, all right. This is Ellie Tahari. It's another blazer jacket. This one doesn't have a tag. Size US 4. Yeah, so like one like this probably is going to go to thread up. Unless I look up comps and find a reason to keep it otherwise. Um, I, I have to find a place to store all these. So, you know, I, I may just keep the, the best of the best and move on the rest. Okay, this is obviously not new if it has a dry clean tag on it. Um, helps you source FYI for your sorters. This is not a tag. This is not a new with tag tag. This is a dry cleaner tag. Maybe they don't know that. Um, yeah, so this is Ann Taylor. It's a size four and it's clearly pre-owned because it has a dry clean tag. That one will probably go to thread up. Okay, this one is Ann Taylor size four. This one does have the tag. This one is $169 retail. I'm not going to get nearly that much on the resale market, but I mean, it is a nice, just solid, like gray blazer. And believe it or not, Ann Taylor does decent. I don't pick it up often, but the right pieces, I absolutely would. If I found that at my thrift store with the tag still on it, I probably would bring that home. Um, okay, here's, this is Amanda and Chelsea again. This one has a Nordstrom rack tag on it. I saw yeah, so this one, suggested retail 180, but it's got the Nordstrom rack tag of 64.97. The cool thing is though, because this other tag is still on here, I probably would just take this one right off. Not that I'm gonna be able to get closer to 180 for it, but you know, it's a little more appealing. Oh, what's this? This is the brand Pearl by Layla Rose. Stretch crepe knit sleeve blazer, $455. What? Look, $455. I'm not lying. I can't make this up. Look at this brand. Has anybody ever heard of this brand? I mean, it's a nice long, it feels quality. What's the material? Polyester elastane. Made in USA. You know, one of the one of my favorite things about mixed brand. Um, oh, you know what? I actually just noticed. So the sleeves are almost like they're more like knit, like t-shirt, and then the it's like business on the front, party on the sides. Okay, I kind of like I like that. Yeah, I do. Um, one thing I I really like about mixed brand mystery boxes is I get to learn about brands that I otherwise would not ever have on my radar. So. That's exciting to me. Um, hopefully it's a, it's a good brand, something that I can look out for in the future. Club Monaco. This brand for a while was on my Bolo list, but I really stopped picking it up because I wasn't having much luck selling it. It retails for very high. It's very, very expensive, brand new, but it just, at least the styles I was finding in the thrift, not that I thrift often these days, but I would pick it up and then it would sit and sit. Um, this one looks like it is a um, sample. It's got a sample tag, um, but it's it's current, more current, summer 22, um, and it is linen. So I'm not mad about that. That's kind of cool. All right, what else do we have here? This one also has a sample tag on it. Amanda and Chelsea. I feel like I saw this same blazer in the beginning. This one's a size small petite. Or at least it was similar. It had this same like sample tag on it. I could probably take this off because it has all of the regular retail tags. So 
couple more in here. Did, are we at 40 already? Was this a 40 piece? Was this a 20 piece? My note says 40. What is this? Never heard of this. Bobble House. Bobble House. Never heard of this one. This feels nice. This is a tensile, tensile cotton polyester spandex. It says dead house, uh, dead stock. So maybe they made this out of dead stock material. This one's actually not a blazer, it's a vest. That's fun. Okay, I hope that's I hope that's good news. I think two more. Here's another blazer with that same sample looking tag. Oh, this has all the tags. This has this tag. This has a Nordstrom Rack tag. And then it has the Suggested Retail 180 tag. Is it the Amanda and Chelsea? Yeah, Amanda and Chelsea size small petite again. All right, and then the last item. Casper. Again, not a brand I pick up. I don't see any tags on this one, so this one will probably go to thread up just because it's not going to be worth my time. I'm not confident that was 40 items. I'm going to double check. Um, first, I'm going to count how many items, and then I'm going to double check my notes and see if it was supposed to be 20 or 40 because now I'm confused. All right, so there are 20 items here, and I actually went back and looked. I lied. <laughs> This is a 20 piece box, so it is correct. Um, but that does change my cost per item. I said 434 per piece for 40 items. So it's 868 per piece for 20 items, um, which changes things a little bit. Uh, but let me give you my ratings. That's what we're here for. Um, ease of listing, it's gonna get an O okay. I mean, it's not gonna be the easiest like it is when I get like Madewell or Everlane and the style names are on there. It's on some of them, but not all of them. I am gonna have to do some research and potentially some manual descriptions. So I'll give it an O okay. Nothing wrong with that. It's just not necessarily gonna go as quick as some of my others. Um, quality of items, I'm gonna have to give it an O oh, yeah. If we're looking at just the quality, everything is new with tag, new without tag. There was a little bit of crud on the one, um, which, oh, and there was the dry clean tag on the other. You know, Helpsy does say to expect a 15% flaw rate. So if it's just those two that have issues, um, that's still within my 15%. Everything else, basically everything is new with tag, except for a couple. So I'll give it an, oh yeah. And um, overall profitability in 90 days, I gotta go, oh, okay. I just, I don't know. Um, these are not the brands that I necessarily expected to receive, um, based on the list. I mean, they're, you know, they're, it's not, not as described, but I'm thinking like, oh, Gap and J Crew, perfect. That's not how it happened. Um, but I still think, you know, it's worth a shot. And I, I think there's a decent chance. I don't think it was a bad investment necessarily, at least not right now. So I'll give it an oh, okay. So I'm going to get to work on this. I will get everything listed on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari. I will come back 90 days later and let you know how it went. Um, I think I do have a little advantage that we're going into fall, cooler weather, and a lot of this stuff is more suited for layering and stuff. So that's good news. Um, make sure you subscribe if you want to see the 90-day update or any other unboxings or just reseller strategy stuff in general that I have coming up. Hit that like button if you could. That certainly helps out the channel. Check out helpsysource.com. I do have it linked down below using code oh yeah for 10% off. Or if you just go directly through the link, it should apply that 10% at checkout. Um, and let me know in the comments what you think. Like I said, if you ordered this, is your assortment like this or is it different? I would definitely love to know. That is it for today, friends. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Oh, 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 oh,